What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Nerds on the Block. Today, we're going to be talking about the Resident Evil 8 Village demo that just dropped today, and later on, the Reverse Open Beta. More on that next. So, first impressions right off the gate for this demo, like. Wow, this is such a different yeah. game from Resident Evil 7. <laughs> oh like, my gosh. What? Like, this is probably the most intriguing game that I've played since, I guess, personally for me, 5. I'm not a, a crazy Resident Evil fan. I've only played a few in the in the, the series, but like I'm invested in the world and I love the characters and everything. And yeah, this is the first one since, I guess, 5, where I'm like, wow, I'm actually like really intrigued by what's going on, what's the story, what's happening in the world of Resident Evil as of late. Yeah. Um, especially coming off of seven which obviously i watched you play and i was like mm -hmm. yeah i wasn't i just wasn't impressed with seven i didn't like the fact that it was first person then obviously i'm, I'm sure a lot of us were sour about the fact that it was a new guy who the hell is this guy Ethan Winter. yeah the only thing i will give resident evil 7 for is that twist with the baker family that's about it like the molded was like the baker family was scary yeah like, yeah, yeah that's, they that's did a good job that's about that. it like, yeah but the molded honestly like the like, worst enemy design that Capcom has ever done across all their franchises, honestly. What is like, that? It's like a bootleg version of a progenitor virus in Resident Evil 5. Obviously, for me, walking into this demo, you start off with seeing this grandma, and she's just <laughs> up in your face. She's like, touting hey, nonsense. Sonny. You want like, some marmalade? You can come <laughs> exactly. up to this castle and get murdered. Yeah, and it's like, uh, I'm here for my daughter. Which, speaking <laughs> like, of his daughter, so yeah. this, this daughter is somebody new, right? She's not from Seven. Yeah, no, no, that's no. a different girl, right? Yeah, no, like no, no, it's the same. Mia is still his wife, and they're still uh, entangled. But like, they finally have a baby, and that's that's where we're, all the speculation is beginning with like Chris and like why is he involved with the kid? Yeah, and all this stuff. Why right? is but, he like, so special all of a sudden? All of a sudden, like why this kid? Because this kid, like you can see the emblems on certain gates in this yeah. demo. Like you see the baby in the four feathers. It's like or the fur. This like, family yeah, is like, like ridiculously what? popular for because yeah. everybody wants a piece of Ethan Winters. Yeah. They killed Mia, which mm -hmm. for them to kill her must like through I feel like um considering Mia is, was all tormented and corrupted from the last game, mm -hmm. I feel like something between Mia and the child, that's the true connection. Yeah. Hence why the baby hence why she was killed and the baby was taken. Ethan mm -hmm. is just like he's just the guardian basically he's just the guy that's trying to figure out why is my wife and my baby so important yeah no and that's what the most interesting element like like again like i was saying just before is just like those gates like they have that emblem on there like this baby it's being a sacrifice or there's it's some part of some, some kind of ritual, ritual that's yeah. going on in there and obviously the, the villagers are like um we lived in this village for so long and none of this, sh no fucked up shit has ever happened until yep. this point. Mm -hmm. So what's going on? And Mother Miranda <laughs> was actually someone that they looked up to, like some type, like a governor or like some type of like mayor or like a or priestess, some, or priestess or someone whatever. in control of that yeah. section or that village. Somebody that they city. believed in, they yeah. looked up to, and then all of a sudden she just went sideways. She went AWOL. So it's like, okay, why yeah. is that happening? And like, what is Umbrella's connection to all of this? There's so many speculation going into that, but like overall, like the demo itself, like- Oh, it's a very was, beautiful, was very great. beautiful demo. The atmosphere? I got, I, I probably lost at least 10 minutes walking around just like marveling. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know about anybody yeah. else. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys let us know. Yeah. Um, at least 10 minutes was lost just walking around, kind of just like, you know, just- in, Taking in the vistas. Taking like, in the vistas. Whew. Like, you know, and I just got a PS5. So this is like, you know, obviously this is going to be a PS5 game. So I'm like, l let me take in not only the power of the PS5, but just like this game. Like, what is this? How, how are they utilizing the capabilities of this console as well? Yeah. And very beautiful game. Like, even when I was playing with the headset I, um, and I put on the virtual sound, I felt like I was in the room when they were doing the little prayer thing. I oh, felt yeah. like I was in the with, with the headphones. I'm definitely playing this game in headphones. Mm -hmm. And putting the virtual sound all the way up because, like, I'm I felt like I was in the room pl praying with these people and just like hearing the zombie sounds when they're like rustling through the you know the bushes and everything. Like, I felt like I was like, you know, that's right the one it. thing I'll give it to them. The, the first person does do it, does for this do game well. yeah. is that you feel, I mean, yeah, Ethan Winters is his own character, but you feel like you are Ethan Winters in a sense, 
Yeah, you feel vulnerable, and I think that's why they're using this character because you don't feel as vulnerable with Chris, Leon, Claire, because you know who Jill, you know who they are. are. Sorry, you know who they are. You, you know, know they're they capable. Know they can whoop anyone's butt. And like, then of course you're case, playing with like, them in third third person because like they mm -hmm. don't need no introduction. Yeah. Whereas Ethan is kind of like us. Yeah. And I guess you. that's the approach of the first person is mm -hmm. you're kind of learning things just like he's learning things. I'm with it. Yeah. I want to see where this goes because like. Yeah, with seven into eight, like atmosphere, like they nailed it. Like that's about it. And so like eight is transitioning from that, taking what worked in seven, but including more elements that are more familiar to Resident Evil fans like myself. Like I want to see like the sounds, like I want to hear pickups. I want to hear the crafting. I want to hear like seeing like, like the, the, the suitcase come back from Resident Evil oh 4. Are you kidding me? It's like having that item management back. It's like there's so many elements that it just screams to Resident Evil fans. And, like this is the love letter. And Resident I never Evil cease to amaze me with the way you heal, heal in Resident Evil. <laughs> this guy puts on this guy put, on his this arm. Guy puts like holy water yeah. on his arm. The rest of, this this guy's leg could be like hanging off by like the thread of a his thread. skin. He puts a little like holy water That's on his it. arm, and his whole body is blessed. Oh, yeah. And in the old games, they spray some freaking first aid spray, some pot, some <laughs> pot perfume, some can spray. cannabis perfume. <laughs> Apparently, I'm healed. I'm fine. Don't, Don't worry about it. Your your yeah. neck could be like like this. I'm fine. You're good again. That's like, it. Like, send me some of that like, shit. Are you getting bit by, like, these werewolf -esque These werewolf things, yeah. And, like, you just need a little... I don't know about you. I tried That's it? I tried That's shooting it? those things. I don't think I have issues trying to shoot those guys. I was like, okay, can you guys die, please? Like, I shot yeah. you guys, like, 50 times. And they're like, no, I'm fine. Yeah. Which okay. I like, because it's like... You item management and like bullet management. You can't just like bullet friends. I feel like some characters. Zombie, right? I feel like certain characters. Obviously, they can only be killed by certain um, guns. Interesting. And so sometimes you just have to run. Like I think this game is going to be. In, I could be wrong. Maybe it's just a demo, and they just wanted you to kind of like just keep moving. Mm -hmm. But like I feel like certain enemies are only going to be affected or subdued by certain weapons, where other weapons will actually kill them. So you could have been, I, I, for all I know, I was probably wasting my time just shooting these guys, but realistically, I should have just been, just keep, keep it moving. Like you can't beat these guys right now. You don't have the tools for that. There, there's definitely scenarios, like, especially like in Resident Evil 7, like just to call back, it's like, there's sometimes you can't defeat all enemies on screen. You kind of have to book it. But like in this uh, scenario, there's only two real threats in this demo, like that you Yeah, the see. rest it's like all The rest scenes. is kind of cutscenes and walking you through the vistas and seeing, it's still kind of a visual showcase, but at the same time you get to feel like you are Ethan Winters and it's like a world that's lived in. And then of course so, you're seeing it earlier than a lot of people. So yeah, like, exactly. there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I was a little disappointed by like this thirty minute thing. Yeah, I'm not that's gonna lie. Like, it's yeah. like I want to play this multiple times. I want to see everything, even though I feel like I did a good job of like exploring in this. But it's just like, I yeah, don't know. the thirty minutes. I was kind of like, well, you can only do so one much. or two things. You can either just book it on through. Yeah. I think you could actually skip the cutscenes. You why, can. But why would you? Right. But why is that but taking up time? You? I was. I don't even know if you noticed, but like. Time was ticking while a cinema. Doesn't matter. Playing. If you Why? if you if you couldn't go to the bathroom, I made sure my no. bladder was empty. No, because yeah. like, you go to this and everything. Every water. second counts, and like yeah. I, I and I get it. They just want to give you the, the tease, and it's really up to you. What are you gonna do? Are you booking it through? Are you skipping the cutscenes, or are you taking your time and looking around? And you know, because there's definitely gonna be people that are gonna be doing that, where it's like, oh, yep. I'm just gonna look around. Next thing you know, they got like 30 seconds left. And then I'm sure there was people that just like, whoop, just trying to see as much as I can see, as fast as I can see it. Yeah, I finished it within 24 minutes, but it's just like, but again, like I still had the mindset of like, I'm on the timer, you know? And I thought maybe it's like, maybe it's 30 minutes intervals and then you can play it in a 30 minute interval the next time, the next time, yeah. the next time. But it was just like, no, you only have 30 minutes. Like, yeah. so do you even have enough time to like read this grade on the, on the, ground and just like see what it says like, yeah. you can't like you have to kind of like skim through details yeah i kind of just, just took my through. time i was just like whatever yeah. i was like you know what i'll take my time and enjoy mm -hmm. what i see and you know if i don't finish it i don't finish it did you finish it or no no i i, no, I think okay. i got up to the part where the the lady and ethan were like gonna jump outside of the cabin or whatever the hell they were in and then it stopped there because oh, no. i spent a lot of time yeah. just kind of just looking around and kind of just enjoying the ambiance and 
you know, all that. And then again, Absolutely. I was wasting time shooting those idiots for, yeah. <laughs> for way too long. Yeah, so, and uh, there was this mine that you could collect and drop and like kill them. Um, I honestly did not deploy it. I was actually using my handgun and shotgun, uh, but like I did manage to kill both of those enemies and I got to the end sequence where you can put in the two medallions and it's like a little puzzle at the end, which I liked. It was like, okay, I'm feeling Resident Evil 4 vibes, but from a first person perspective, like yeah. I just, I think they nailed that, man. Like obviously I'm, as a big uh, fan of Resident Evil, I want to see Chris Redfield's inclusion and why is he in this? Yeah, he's going to be a big mystery because yeah, like, like he, he doesn't seem like he's the Chris that we all know. That we all know. But love, like, so. neither was Resident Evil 7. That didn't feel like Chris Redfield either. It's like, oh, what's yeah, your inclusion that was, with that Blue was like, Umbrella? That was poverty, doing? Chris. That was yeah, like, that, that, was, that was like oh, default, no name brand Chris Redfield. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what was And that? they have the nerve to put him in the RE verse beta. Yeah. But overall, the the demo, uh, first impressions for the village demo, what did you think, Sean? Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, very much invested in the story, the mystery, the intrigue, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of like scary games. Like I, I prefer sci-fi thrillers. That's the closest I'll get to anything scary. <laughs> but like, you know, whenever a Resident Evil game does come along, that piques my interest as a big deal. So I really, yeah. I, I really enjoy this and I'm looking forward to picking it up and playing it for sure. Absolutely, for me, it's it's always about the the atmosphere for me when it comes to the Resident Evil games and they're really bringing that back. My favorite Resident Evil game of all time is still Resident Evil 1 uh, and Resident Evil 5 and other entries. Uh, I'm just glad that this game, it cares about its atmosphere, cares about its story, and I just can't wait to see how things unfold. I'm expecting a twist like RE7 uh, did with the Baker family yeah. something with Chris yeah. we'll see because I just I can't believe he's I the believe bad guy him, I can't believe he's the bad guy I believe him but him. we'll see we'll see I believe in Capcom I think they've learned a lot from Seven and what they're doing with these remakes <clears throat> so we'll see what they have in store uh, next we're going to talk about the Reverse open beta so obviously we got a chance to play this quite a bit I, I went through a little bit more rounds uh, than yeah. you, but what did you think in your little short yeah I got a little taste of it like you know I'm not crazy about it but yeah. like i could i could see the appeal like if again you like resident evil you like multiplayer shooters i think that that's enough to get any fan of resident evil or any fan of shooting games in general to to like it there was like you know a couple things in the game where i'm kind of like yeah you know this this feels like you you die too quickly or yeah. this character you know is a little too overpowered and or it just like there's a little there's a lot of imbalances in the game and again you know, it's a demo, and then on top of that, you know, it's something new that they, you know, they're trying out to see, and it's free. So, yeah. you know, I'm not expecting it to be like this crazy, you know, AAA free title, but like, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, I thought it was fun. I, like, I'm not going out of my way because, again, I prefer the story mm -hmm. as opposed to, Absolutely. or, or at the very least, if I'm going to play something on the level of multiplayer uh, versus, I'd rather us kind of like work together and, you know take this base or like you know mm -hmm. kill these zombies like you know horde mode or whatever yeah but um ultimately yeah i enjoyed it and i think anybody that's a fan of resident evil will enjoy it and it's worth checking out yeah, yeah it's worth checking out and hopefully they they fine tune it and add new characters and new maps and whatever mm -hmm. and make it worthwhile yeah no absolutely for me like coming from the background of like the mercenaries the raid mode in the revelation games like to see a game that I feel like all fans have been clamoring for an entry to be like, just plop all the Resident Evil fan favorite characters in yeah. one game and let them do it. Just out. give me Moe's so Isley like, yeah. with Resident Evil style. <laughs> give like, me Billy Cohen. Like, uh, obviously, there's some big fan favorites that have been left off the table. Like, we don't have Rebecca Chambers in this RE verse beta, but like, this is like, again, it's the Resident Evil anniversary. We want to see all those characters be put into this game, right? Like, it's this is the time. And Obviously, I want to see more things than just deathmatch. Like, obviously, that's fun and all, but like, that's something that you know can get boring if you don't have multiple modes. And like, we definitely need more maps. Like you're saying, for me, like I found like certain character abilities definitely have an advantage over others. Like, like Leon has like a kick, um, but like Chris has like immunity, so he can just like absorb that kick and then just punch Leon to the ground and kill him. Or like Hunk can go invisible and then just stealth kill you around a corner and you're like, I didn't even like reload yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like and then Claire, like, I don't know, like there's some things like Ada Wong has like this crossbow. Like if she hits you in the head, it's an yeah. insta kill. I don't know if you noticed that either, but like yeah. if she hits you in the head, it's insta. Like and obviously it's a one shot, so like 
they have to give her something. Yeah. But I feel like they need to do a little bit and better not, on balancing. And but. I'm not totally sold on the whole, if you die, you come back as... as a, oh, really? As like, I'm not completely sold. I just feel like it's just... Like, once you're dead, you should just be dead. And that's either you respawn as the same character or, you know, it's just heroes versus villains. Like, I don't feel like it needs to be like you kill the person then basically you're waiting for them to come back so you can kill them again. And nine times out of ten, you kill them, they kill you. That's that's basically what it is. Yeah, and then yeah. those revenge kills. Th those are the incentives, but I see what you mean, though. But like, that's why another mode can nullify that and be like, hey, like if you feel like the fatigue of, like, I don't want to change characters, I just want to be Leon, straight up. So like that's where they need to include like a heroes versus villains maybe, or like three v three or two v two yeah. or or something like that because versus was a, a mode in Resident Evil and I feel like they did look a lot at that and what they could implement in a game of this nature and I feel like they did a lot of cool things with this but again it is a beta so like you know hopefully they're looking at this data that we're talking about now yeah. and they're going to be like hey like we've heard you we're going to include all that stuff we're going to have staples in the resident evil series like you play it in the rpd uh police station which like you know leon and claire's story uh goes from in resident evil 2 so it's like okay that's one landmark what about resident evil 1 what about spencer mansion what mm -hmm. about like all these other landmarks that are in the series like that's what people want to see and yeah so overall i said the beta is is pretty good definitely needs a lot of work uh for if you if they want this to be a multiplayer game that people are going to be playing more than just a week you need to add yeah. to that it can't you can't just rely on one especially when it's competing games. with the story mode and it's competing with mercenaries, mercenaries yeah. you got you, you got a lot to work on to get me, to pull me away from <laughs> those two basically mercy mercenaries, mercenaries yeah. basically yeah. which unlocks after you beat the campaign in resident evil 8 which will be worth the wait, but like again, like once that game's completed, what's to say like I'm gonna play Mercenaries over RE Verse Beta? Mercenaries definitely looks like yeah. more appealing. Yeah. So we'll see. But overall, those were our impressions of the Resident Evil demo and the RE Verse Beta. If you got a chance to try it out, let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Like this video, share it, and subscribe to Nerds on the Block for more content from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Yo, you still here, dog? Yo, subscribe to the channel, bro. Make sure you hit that notification bell to stay locked on all of our content when it drops. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah, bro. The box is up. Seriously, like it's so easy, bro. Just click the button, bro.